Today's my 14th birthday, so you have to do everything I say. So you're just gonna be a bully for your birthday? No, you just have to do everything I say. <laughs> dude, this duck is so fun. Well, I wanna write it. What? No way, dude. It's my birthday, so you have to do everything I say. Hey guys, you wanna play a game? Uh, no, go away, you're scary looking. Cody, that's so mean, you can't judge him by the way he looks. Yeah, dude, that's what happened to my people for 400 years, that's discriminating. You didn't learn from history, Cody? What if someone didn't wanna hang out with you because you wore glasses? Yeah, four eyes. Well, okay, guys, I guess we can hang out with this obvious serial killer. Well, I'm so sorry, mister, what'd you want? Oh, I was just hoping we could play a friendly game. Well, we love to play games. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Have you ever played tag? We love tag. Oh, well, this is like tag, but with a twist. It's called AIDS tag. What, AIDS tag? Yeah, it's like tag, but this needle is filled with AIDS. The rules are the first person to get stabbed gets AIDS. Are you guys sure you really want to hang out with this guy? One, two, three, go. Well, Ow, Jesus Christ. Wait, wait, wait. Did I just get AIDS? What happened? Ah! You lost AIDS, Dad Cody. Yeah, you got stuck with AIDS. Well, I'm gonna be really pissed off if I have AIDS. You're really funny, mister. You wanna come back to my house? It's my birthday. We're gonna play a bunch of games. Oh, it's your birthday? Well, happy birthday. Yeah, we're gonna play a bunch of games at my house. You wanna come? Oh, definitely. Let's go. Let's go. This is a bad idea. Uh, Junior, do you have a Band-Aid? My head hurts from where he stabbed me. Oh, you need a Band-Aid? I always come prepared with Band-Aids. Band-Aids? How is that different from normal Band-Aids? Oh, they're like normal Band-Aids, except they're used from people with AIDS. No, that's okay. I don't need one that bad. Oh, come on. Use one. No, I'm good. So what's your name, anyway? Oh, my name's Billy. What's your name? My name's Junior. This is Cody, and that's Joseph. Cool, cool. So you guys want to play a game? Yeah, well, I love games. It's not going to be AIDS tag again, is it? No, no, just a friendly game of catch. We love to play catch. Oh, perfect. Here's your ball. Uh, why are there needles sticking out of it? Those are AIDS needles. The first person to catch the ball catches AIDS. Yeah, I'm starting to sense a theme here. I don't want to play. Oh, come on, catch. <laughs> ow, dude, ow! AIDS! Ah, Joseph, you have AIDS now. That's not fair. Uh, Junior, can I talk to you for a second? What's up? This guy needs to leave. But we're having so much fun. We're just playing games. Junior, there's something wrong with him. Psst. Hey, Junior, I have a surprise for you downstairs. Come on. A surprise? I want to see. Uh-oh. Happy birthdays! Birth AIDS? Yeah, it's the most special day of the year! You threw me a party? Yeah, of course I did! Anything for my best friend! And you got me a cake? Oh, yeah! What flavor is it? Oh, it's the most AIDS flavor! Red velvet! Oh, God, it's just red chocolate with cream cheese on it. That is AIDS. Oh, yeah! Let's sing the birth AIDS song! Happy birth AIDS to you! Happy birth to you, happy birth, AIDS, to Junior, happy birth, AIDS, to you. Now blow your candles and make a wish. Uh, ooh, ooh, what you wish for? Oh, oh AIDS? Oh, don't, tell me, don't tell me it won't come true. Oh, who wants a piece of cake? Uh, no, thank you. I want a piece. Ooh, ooh, you want a corner slice? I wouldn't eat that slice, Junior. Dude, the corner slice is the best slice! Thank you! One corner slice coming right up. Oh, can I open up my gifts? Oh, yeah, let's go open up some gifts. Yeah! Here's your first gift. It's from me. Oh, I'm so excited. What, what is that? It's a... Mr. Potato Head. Mr. Potato Head? Wait, the box is empty. Oh, yeah, that's because I went ahead and assembled it for you. These things don't come like they show in the box. Weird. This is ridiculous. Oh, watch out. It's gonna catch you. What, it's no, gonna catch you. Get that thing away from Ooh, me. This is fun. Wow, party pooper. What's my other gifts? Oh, let me go get it. Junior, I think all your presents are gonna be AIDS related. All right, your next gift is. Upper Asian. Upper Asian? Come on, man. You gotta chill out with this AIDS stuff. Oh, come on. It's fun. It's just like normal operation. But instead of taking stuff out of him, you're giving him AIDS. Ooh, what a twist. Junior, I think you should kick this guy out of your house. Well, at least he's getting me gifts for my birthday, unlike you guys. Wow, no gifts? Great friend. Yeah, you're a really good friend, Billy. You got any more gifts for me? Oh, I got one more really good one. Oh, boy. Is it AIDS? Okay, your last gift is... Curious AIDS. Curious AIDS? Come on, there's nothing in Curious George that even sounds like AIDS. Uh, oh, okay, Cody. Well, how about you go ahead and crank it then? I'm afraid to. Yeah, yeah crank, crank it, Cody. For my birthday, I want you to crank it. Come on, Cody, do it. Okay, but I'm gonna regret this. Ow, oh, Jesus! Did I just get AIDS again? AIDS! 
Oh, there's AIDS needles all over the monkey, Cody! Hey, dude, you're not lucky. Well, I hate this guy! Oh, come on, Cody, I won twice in one day. That's a new record. Oh, Billy, thank you for all the gifts. You want to go upstairs and play more games? Yeah, anything for you, buddy. Let's go! I don't want to play more games. Okay, guys, what games do you want to play now? Uh, Junior, me and Joseph need to talk to you for a minute. What's wrong? We don't want to hang out with Billy anymore. What? Yeah, the AIDS thing is getting annoying, dude. Yeah. Oh, well, he's so fun to play with. No, he's not, Junior. Okay, what if I talk to him and tell him to stop talking about AIDS? Okay, maybe. Hey, Billy. Oh, Billy. Uh, are we your best friend? Listen, my friends don't want to hear you talking about AIDS anymore, so can you please stop talking about AIDS? Okay, for you, I'll stop talking about AIDS. All right, guys, he says he's going to stop talking about it. But really? Hey, hey, guys, all this talking's getting me really thirsty. Are you guys thirsty? Oh, well, yeah, I'm pushed, dude. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm thirsty. thirsty. Oh, perfect. I have some homemade lemon. Okay, that's it. We're leaving. Oh, come on. We gotta drink all this before October 27th when it expires. We don't want the AIDS dying. Oh, you just said you were gonna stop talking about it, Billy. I'm sorry. It was too good of an opportunity to pass. So you promise you're gonna stop talking about AIDS now? I promise. Okay, guys. He's not gonna bring up AIDS ever again. If he says AIDS again, you guys can leave, okay? I don't think he can help it, Junior. I think he has to talk about AIDS. Just give him one more chance. Okay, fine. So what game should we play? Ooh, hide and seek, dude. Ooh, maybe we can play checkers. Ooh, how about we play charades? Mm, Junior? Well, no, no, that's the name of the game. It's called charades. That's just the name of the game, right? Yeah, it's just the name of the game. Okay, if he's only talking about the game. Okay, so who, who wants to go first? Ooh, I'll go first. Okay, try to guess what I'm doing. Uh, uh, yeah, take that. I'm going to finish before you do. Uh, ooh, ooh, here I go. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> I did it. I, I don't know what you're doing. Oh, at all. Come on, guys. I was in a hula hoop competition and I was beating the world champion. How did you not guess that? That was a tough one. Oh, yeah, it was yeah, very, hard, very tough to ooh, guess. Ooh, much, much, much. What am I doing? <laughs> okay, ready? Flu oh, shot. No. Uh, are you getting a tetanus shot? Nope. Are you getting AIDS? You said it, not me. Okay. You said it. All right, that's it. We're leaving. Oh, no, no, guys, 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 guys. I, okay, listen, Billy. How about you go downstairs and hang out with Chef Peepee? Who, who's Chef Peepee? He's the the chef downstairs. You can play all the games you want with him. Oh, oh, does he? Does he have the a word? I, I, I don't. You should, you should go ask him. You should go play with Chef Peepee downstairs. Okay. All right, guys. I got rid of him. Oh, thank you. Finally. Mm-mm-mm, my enchiladas are ready. But what did I do with my spatula? Chef Pee I want to play a game. Wait, who are you? Your enchiladas are ready. Put your spatulas in this baking pan filled with AIDS glass. So, what's it gonna be? Let your enchiladas burn? Or grab the spatula, get AIDS, and enjoy a delicious meal? Well, sucks for you. I have an extra spatula right here, dumbass. Damn it! Okay, okay, okay. How about this? Stop it! Enchilada AIDS. I was just about to eat those enchiladas. Why would you do that? So, what's it gonna be? Enjoy a delicious meal and get AIDS or starve. You decide. <laughs> Who is that? And what's with him and AIDS? I can't believe I had to order McDonald's because that stupid idiot put AIDS in my enchiladas. Oh, he's lucky I like McDonald's. Wait, is, is that a fly by my food? Get away, you stupid fly. Stop it, go! Hey, Shepipi, what's wrong? Fly bothering you? Yes, the fly's bothering me, but you are too, so leave! Oh, come on, Shepipi. I was thinking we could kill a fly by playing a little game. No, no, I'm tired of your games. Right here, I have a can of AIDS. That's Raid! No, it's it's liquid poison AIDS. You spray the fly with it, and the fly dies of AIDS. Look, I don't have time for your games! Get, get away, fly! God! So, what's it gonna be, Shepipi? Kill the fly and enjoy your McDonald's in peace? Or be annoyed the whole meal. Give me the ray, man. Oh, oh, no, no, I'll spray it, I'll spray it. Come here, stop flying. Oh, there you are. Hey, that's my food! Oh, I'm so sorry, I, I missed. Well, then, but now you got AIDS on my food, how can I eat this? Oh, come on, eat it. <laughs> I'm not eating it, Julia! Julia, Julia, Julia! Oh, hey, Chef Pee are you gonna tell me happy birthday? Don't interrupt, there's this person downstairs putting AIDS in everything! Oh, yeah, that's Billy. He likes AIDS. Yeah, he all he talks about is AIDS. Hey, guys, do you like my braids? Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. How long have you liked AIDS, Billy? Oh, deck AIDS. Ugh, this is getting so old. Well, guys, we have to get rid of them, but I don't know how. Oh, oh, hey, Billy, have you ever been to the Everglades? What's the Everglades? Oh, it's, it's, it's this place in Florida where everyone has AIDS. <gasps> Really? That sounds like a paradise. Yeah, yeah, you should go. You should go there and never come back. Uh, okay, I'm going now. Wow, it was really that easy to get rid of him? Wait, so if he just left, then how is the video going to end? It fades. Oh, oh, I I guys, guys, guys.
calm down. Yes, these are my tech decks. PJ, where'd you get tech decks at? Oh, my mom got them for me. His mom! His mom got his mom got his mom got his mom got Oh, PJ, we have to see you play with it, please! I don't know, guys. I'm kind of tired. No, please! No, please! Please, please, please! Okay, okay, I'll play with it. A man you scored just in time. Hey, what's everyone looking at? PJ, I would totally kiss you for your tech deck. I would marry you for your tech deck. You guys don't even want to know what I do to him for a tech deck. Hey guys, what's going on? PJ Crenshaw brought tech decks to school. What are tech decks? What? You don't know what a tech deck is? Dude, it's the coolest toy ever. How do you not know what a tech deck is? Like this. I don't know what a tech deck is. Well, if you don't know what a tech deck is, you have to get out of here. Now, hold on. Hold on, guys. Let's educate the poor fool. Jeffy, a tech deck is a little miniature skateboard that you ride with your fingers. Tech decks are the epitome of cool. They are the ultimate symbol of cool. Tech decks are all about bringing them to school and making it your entire personality. It says, I may not know how to ride a skateboard, but my fingers do. And if my fingers can ride a skateboard, then the ladies know what else they can do. Ah! My bunghole. Well, can I borrow one of your tech decks? What? You can't borrow a PJ tech deck. That's unheard of. Asking to borrow somebody's tech deck is like asking to bang their mom. No, hold on, guys. PJ never deprives someone of an opportunity to be cool. Jeffy, you can borrow my tech deck. What? You want to borrow a tech deck? But only for a day. Jeffy, you have to bring me the tech deck back tomorrow at school. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. You got to borrow a PJ tech deck. That's never happened in the history of that one. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Now run along home. Hey, Jeffy, how was school? It was sick, Daddy. This kid named PJ let me borrow his tech dick. What? Yeah, it's a little mini skateboard that you finger. I'm really good at fingering, Daddy. Fingering's my favorite. Je Jeffy, I wouldn't say that anymore. Look, if you're gonna play with your little mini skateboard, play with it somewhere else. Okay, Daddy, but first, can I show you a trick I learned? It took me forever to learn this trick. Oh, sure. Ready? Ow, Jeffy, you hit me in the face of your stupid skateboard. You know what I think about this? Ugh. Daddy, why would you throw that? If something happens to it, I'm gonna be the biggest loser in school! <sighs> I can't believe I have to vacuum the whole house. God! Jeffy, I think I found it. Thanks, Chef BB. I can't let anything happen to it for the rest of the night. Hey, Jeffy. Hey, Junior. I hate taking the bus to school. Me too. But you still have PJ's tech deck? Sure do, and it's in pristine condition. Okay, good. Yeah, I can't wait to give it back to him. It's been stressing me out ever since he gave it to me. Yeah, it's gotta be stressful holding on to something so valuable. Hey, losers. What, what do you want, bully? Wait, what's that? It's a tech deck. Give me that. Hey! hey get it back! Hey, you want it? Go get it. Oh, oh no, the bus is coming! Jeffy, Jeffy, Jeffy! Go get the tech deck! Go get the tech deck! Okay. Ah! Oh, man! Is the tech deck okay, Jeffy? Does it look like it's okay, Junior? Oh, my God, it's broken! PJ's gonna kill you! I know, Junior! I cannot go to school today! Oh, okay, okay. We're, we're not gonna get on the bus. We're gonna take this thing inside and try to fix it. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Okay! Here. Hey! Where are you kids going? You get your ass on the bus! You're gonna be raped for school! What? Hey, Junior and Jeffy didn't get on the bus! Oh man, they're skipping school and didn't invite us? Hold on, Joseph. I'm gonna see what's going on. Uh, hey, I'm getting off the bus. Why are you getting off the bus? You gotta go to school! Uh, I have to poop outside. Uh, I'll meet you at school. Okay. All right, Jeffy, all the pieces are right here. We have to put it back together. How, Junior, how? There's like a million pieces right here. There's more pieces right here than there are ants in the world. Okay, well, that's not even close to being correct. But, but look, Jeffy, we have to put this back together because if PJ found out you broke his tech deck, he's going to hate you, and he's going to hate me because I know you. Hey, guys, when'd you skip school? Oh, Cody, thank God you're here. Look, the school bus ran over PJ's tech deck. What? Junior, do you know what this means? If PJ finds out, he's going to hate Jeffy, and then he's going to hate us because we're associated with Jeffy. So we got to think of a plan, Cody. Help! Okay, think, think. Oop, I did a little toot, I did a little brain toot. You mean a brain fart? No, Junior, I don't say the word fart, that's disgusting. I say toot, it's a nice cute little petite word, a petite toot. 
You know, if you're at dinner and you pass gas, you can just say, sorry, everyone, I tooted. And then everyone will be fine with that. They'll just keep eating. But if you say, sorry, everyone, I just blew a big, stinky, dirty fart right out of my unwiped ass, then nobody's going to want to keep eating. That's just gross. You know, a toot's like a nice little purr that comes out of your ass. Like, like you've got a kitten in your ass. Uh -huh. I just let out a big, stinky shit cloud right out of my rectal hole. Yeah, see, that's inappropriate. Well, look, can we get back to the tech deck? we got to fix this. Oh, yeah, the thing that made me toot in the first place. Oh, look, how about we just go to the store and buy a tech deck that looks just like this? Oh, wow, Junior, that's actually a really good idea and you didn't even have to toot to think of it yeah let's go to the store come on okay okay guys here's the tech deck okay look for it it has a snake on it with red wheels uh, uh, do you see one jeffy no i won't see it junior uh, come on guys hey kids can i help you find something uh yes mister we're looking for a tech deck that has a snake on it with red wheels we broke our other one and we want one just like it oh well i hate to tell you this kids but no two tech decks look exactly the same what? so there's not one that looks just like the one we broke no each one's one of a kind what? Well, what are we gonna do? I don't know, I guess you're kinda screwed. I mean, you could get one of these kits and try to fix the one you have. Oh, wait, you could fix it with this kit? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, okay, come on, go, go grab this, come yeah. on. <laughs> Lady, shut up. I'm stressing about my tech deck. That kid should be here by now. What's up, BJ? Hey, where's your friend? You know the one with the helmet? He's supposed to bring me back my tech deck. Uh, they missed the bus, but they should be on their way, though. Oh, call him. Huh? Call him. The P and PJ doesn't stand for patient. Okay, I'll call him, BJ. Okay, guys, we have all these tools, so let's try to put it back together. What, what are you doing, Jeffy? Sorry, I thought I was helping. What? No, you just lost all the pieces. Cody, find the pieces. <laughs> Hold on, my phone's ringing. It's Joseph. Hello? Hey, dude, where's Jeffy? PJ's asking for his tech deck. Uh, there's kind of a situation going on. What situation? Stinky, stinky shit fart. Wait, wait, somebody's constipated? Wait, no, no, Jeffy just grabbed the phone. Look, the, the tech deck is broken. Wait, broken? What do you mean broken? That's PJ's favorite tech deck. He's gonna kill us. Uh, I know, I know. We're, 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 we're trying to fix it. I just need you to stall and, and, and tell PJ everything's okay. Stall? How do you want me to stall? Stick it in my squirrel caboose. Okay, I'm not doing that. Oh, uh, listen, listen, just stall PJ and we'll call you back. Just stall him, stall him. Okay. All right, guys, we gotta fix this. Hurry, hurry, hurry. PJ, I really like your pink tech deck. Whatever. Uh, PJ? Hey, where's your friend with my tech deck? Um, um, he had a doctor's appointment, but he will be here by the end of the day. Hmm, that kind of pisses PJ off. I can't focus in class without all three of my tech decks. Oh, I, I promise he's on his way, though. He better be. <sighs> Okay, guys, let's put that together. What, Junior, it doesn't look anything like it looked before. Look, it has the wheels on it. It doesn't matter. The wheels were red before. The wheels on the bus go round and round. But look, no, I thought it'd be cool if all the wheels were different colors. It doesn't matter if it's cool, Junior. The wheels have to be red. Okay, fine. I'll change all the wheels to red. I just thought it would be sick. And that cross is why you don't run with scissors. That does it for today's lesson. You all can go home. See you tomorrow, PJ. Hasta mañana. Bye. What, what the frick, man? What? Your friend never came back with the tech deck. Oh, uh, he must have got stuck in traffic. Yeah. That's it. I'm going to kill your friend. Huh? Okay, Cody. I added the red wheels on the tech deck. It looks good, right? Yeah, I mean, it kind of looks like it did. Oh, no, Junior. That top looks terrible. Well, there's nothing we can do about the top, Cody. These other boards have different designs on them, so we can't change that out. Guys, guys, guys. PJ's coming. Oh, me too, Daddy. You know he's coming for the tech deck. Oh, guys, hide all the materials. Go, go, hide, 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 hide. Okay, all the pieces are cleaned up. Yeah, I'm scared. I'm gonna go hide. But Cody, come back! Hey, bro, you never came back with my tech deck, bro. Because I was still playing with it, bro. <gasps> Dude, don't mock PJ! Uh, PJ, he, he didn't mean to mock you. Uh, your tech deck is right here. Wait, wait a minute. What's with all these scratches? Oh, the, the, the scratches, uh, they're... You know what? Don't tell me. I already know. You do? Yeah. You were shredding the fuck out of this thing. Man, that's totally Narnar Binks. Man, your fingers must have been bleeding from shredding this hard. Yeah, I was finger dealing that board so hard, it was like a girl's Arby's roast beef sandwich. I was giving it that horsey sauce, like... <laughs> yeah, damn right you were. Oh, man. You know what? I don't even shred this hard on my tech decks. You know what? Keep it. It's yours, champ. I don't want it. It's broken. It got ran over by a bus. Yeah, a bus full of fingers. You know what, kid? You're not so bad. Keep on shredding. <laughs> Guys, what just happened? Well, PJ did not notice that his tech deck was broken. He thought those scratches were from Jeffy playing with it too hard. Oh, that makes sense. My thing looks like that when I play with it too hard. So, Jeffy, you get to keep one of PJ's tech decks. And PJ still thinks we're cool. Uh-oh, I have to pee. What? what? Cody, you being really weird just randomly leaving the scene. Like, doesn't make any sense. What are you doing? Hey, guys, I found that tech deck you were looking for. What? You told me no two tech decks look the same. Oh, yeah, I just lied so you'd spend more money at Target. You know that kit you bought? It was three times the price of this one. But it worked. The boss gave me a huge promo. Oh, man, this tech deck is so cool. Whoever was playing with this was Narnar Binks. I gotta try it out. Oh, man, look at my hand. I'm like Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk's hands. Tony Hawk hands. Tony hands. Tony Hand Hawk. John Hancock. Signed the Declaration of Independence in 1776. Fuck yeah, I did. Hey, 
happening, Danny? What, Jeffy, what happened to your eye? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You have a black eye, Jeffy. Did someone hit you, Jeffy? I can't remember. What do you mean you can't remember? I would remember if someone hit me in the eye or not. Well, I just don't know who did it. Marvin, we should call the cops. Someone assaulted Jeffy. You can't spell assault without ass. Jeffy, did someone hit you or not? I don't know. Well, we're going to call the cops. And they're going to find out who did it because they'll take like, DNA off your eye and, and, and check everyone's fist. Marvin, what if Jeffy's afraid to tell us because the person that hit him is threatening to hurt him more if he does? Jeffy, is someone threatening you? I don't know. If you say I don't know one more time, I'm going to hit you. Well, now someone's threatening me. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to call the cops. Hey there, somebody call the cops? Yes, officer, someone assaulted my son. <laughs> well, you can't spell assault without ass. Bingo. This guy knows what I'm talking about. Look, we just want to press charges on whoever did it. Okay, well, who did it? Uh, we don't know. What, what do you mean you don't know? You can't press charges on somebody if you don't know who they are. Jeffy can't remember who did it, but can't you, like, scan his eye for, like, their fist print? What, fist print? What are you talking about? You can scan fingerprints, right? Yeah. So, like, can't you scan, like, the fist print and, like, go in the fist print database and find out whose fist it was? Fist print database? That doesn't exist. But there's a fingerprint database, and fists are just curled up fingers, so, like, can't you, like, get, like, a fist out of the fingerprints? What? No, no. no. Okay, that's not, that's not gonna happen. Then who, how can we find out who did it? Well, the only way we're gonna find out is if he tells us, or if the person who punched him punches somebody else and they tell us who it was like if it was like a serial puncher well can't you put out like an alert that like there's someone going around punching people i'm not gonna put out an alert for a like fist vigilante but but he's punching people and he's on the loose right now we don't even know what the guy looks like so then what are we supposed to do uh, okay I'll, I'll tell you what you figure out who it is and i'll arrest him okay all i know is i didn't do it well, I didn't ask if you did it. Oh, I know, but you're going to start asking questions about who did it, and I just want to eliminate myself as a suspect, because I did punch a kid in the face today, but it wasn't him. Well, why'd you punch a kid in the face? Oh, he had it coming, believe me, I'll tell you. So earlier today, I was patrolling in the park, right? And it was a beautiful day. So I was just walking around, minding my own business, and then, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this kid runs up, and he shoves me, and he yells, Tag, you're it! And I'm like, what, what the hell? What is this, some kind of game? So I start chasing him around, and I'm putting on the burners, right? Because this kid is fast. And he's running around, he's giggling, he yells, you're never going to catch me. And I'm like, oh, when I catch you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to beat your ass. So then we're running around all over the park, and then he trips, and he falls in a sandbox. And I'm like, oh, I got you now, you little bastard. And then he kicks sand in my face. And I'm like, oh, you're not going to kick sand at me. So I punch him in the face, and I'm like, tag, you're it. And then he starts crying, and then his mom runs over, and she's like, you just punched my son in the face. And I'm like, yeah, I did. What are you going to do about it? So I throw her on the ground and I start arresting her. And then all these people run up with their phones out and they start taking videos of me. And I'm like, that's not good. So I start throwing haymakers. I start punching everybody there who has a phone. And then I take all their phones so there's no evidence of what I did. And I run away. So yeah, that's why I punched that kid today. Well, I guess if that's the only kid you punched in the Wait face. Wait a minute. I did punch another kid today. What, what you did? Why? Uh, don't worry. It wasn't your son, but you got to hear this. Well, this one's even worse. So I run back to my house with all the phones I stole from the people at the park, right? And I throw them down on the counter and I'm like, honey, sell these phones on eBay because we're going to need the money for all the lawsuits we're about to get. So she asked me where the phones came from and I said I confiscated them from some criminals. She goes, okay, well, I made you some pizza rolls for dinner. So I start jumping up and down because I love me some pizza rolls. So I grab a handful of them and she's like, careful, honey, those are hot. And I'm like, shut up, bitch. So I start shoving those pizza rolls in my mouth, right? And then my mouth is on fire. Those pizza rolls are boiling hot. They're burning the crap out of my mouth. I I mean, they burn the roof of my mouth so bad, I got a little piece of skin that's hanging down and I keep playing with it with my tongue. It sucks. And then my, my wife, my wife has the audacity to say, I told you they were hot. So I throw the plate at her. I'm like, I know, I know what I did wrong. You don't have to tell me. I should have listened. I know, shut up. So then I'm in a bad mood, right? And then I hear the doorbell ring and I'm like, uh-oh, this must be the angry mob from the park. They want their phones back. But it's not. It's just some Girl Scouts selling Girl Scout cookies. So then I open the door and they say, do you want some Girl Scout cookies? And I'm like, hell yeah, I want some Girl Scout cookies. Shut up. Why am I even here? Take my money. So I give them a 20, right? And then you're not going to believe this. The Girl Scout says, okay, your cookies are going to be here in two to three weeks. What? I'm like, what, what, what the hell? What, what kind of Ponzi scheme is this? Are you even really a Girl Scout? So I punch her in the face and I take my money back. I, two to three weeks for cookies? What is this, the new iPhone of Girl Scout cookies? I'm not going to pre-order cookies. That's ridiculous. I, I could order cookies on Amazon Prime and get them faster. So I go to the store and I buy myself some Chips Ahoy and I'm happy. So I sit down on the couch and I'm like, two to three weeks for cookies, my ass, I say as I shove a cookie into my mouth in anger. And then I hurt myself because I remember I already burned my mouth on the pizza pizza rolls. So now my mouth hurts and I hate that stupid little piece of skin that's hanging down off the roof of my mouth. Just nah. Ugh, God, I hate it. Anyway, that was the second kid I punched. So you only punched two kids? Yep, just two kids. I mean, a whole bunch of adults at the park who had phones, but just two kids, and none of them were your son. 
So, how are we gonna find out who punched Jeffy? I don't know, just ask around, but be quick, because I might get fired by the end of the day. <sighs> Marvin, what are we gonna do? Okay, so we have to go ask everyone we know if they saw who punched Jeffy or if they punched Jeffy. So let's split up so we can ask more people. Okay, Marvin. Who you want to ask? You don't ask anyone. You sit here and you try to remember who punched you, okay? Okay. <sighs> I'm so sorry, Cody. Does it hurt? Of course it hurts, Junior. It's a black eye. Dude, stop being a whiny little baby. Hey, boys, Jeffy has a black eye. Do you know what happened? No. I have two black eyes. But what about you? You have a black eye. How did you get that? Oh, you don't even want to know how I got this. Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you the story. So us three, we were playing baseball, right? I was the batter, Joseph was the pitcher, and Cody was in the outfield. So Joseph threw a fastball. It was gorgeous. Thank you. And I crushed that hoe. I hit that baseball into outer space. Oh, yeah. We were seeing stars. It was flying. Yeah, so Cody was running after the ball going, I got it, I got it. It, but he wasn't paying attention. He didn't see the cliff that was coming up. So he runs off the cliff and he starts falling. He grabs onto the edge of the cliff and he's like, guys, help me. And I'm like, Cody, I'm on my way. I'm trying to save your life. And Cody's like, I'm slipping. I'm slipping. Hurry. And I'm like, Cody, I'm almost there. So as soon as I get there, Cody lets go. And I reach out to grab him. And the only thing I can grab onto is his eyeball. So I grab his eyeball and I pull him up and I save his life. But he has a black eye because I grabbed his eye. No, Junior, that's not what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That didn't happen like that at all, dude. You hit the baseball and then Cody went running towards the baseball. Baseball, but then there was an airplane trying to make an emergency landing because the president wanted to watch the baseball game. But the landing gear hit Cody in the eye. That would have killed me, and why would the president want to watch us play baseball? Well, Joseph, you forgot. You totally forgot what happened. No, I hit the baseball. The baseball hit the president's airplane. The plane started going down. The president jumped out and parachuted and gave us a thumbs up. Oh, then, yeah. the, then the baseball flew into the city. Godzilla appeared. <gasps> Godzilla! I totally forgot about Godzilla! Yeah, so Godzilla starts destroying the city, starts knocking over buildings, and a piece of the building fell off and hit Cody in the eye. But that didn't happen either. Dude, you forgot about the meteor that was coming for Earth. There was a meteor coming for Earth and then NASA had to shoot it down with a missile and it broke into a million pieces and one piece flew into Cody's eye. Oh yeah. No, 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 I'll tell you what happened, okay? We were playing dodgeball and you guys didn't have a dodgeball so you decided to start throwing baseballs at my face. That's why I have a black eye. Oh, yeah. that, that we were doing that. Good time. Okay, but do you know how Jeffy got his black eye? No. <laughs> hey, Chef PB, I got a question. Oh, Marvin, it was horrible. How'd you get a black eye, Chef PB? Oh, the worst thing happened. I was trying to make a triple chocolate cake, the hugest cake. And out of nowhere, a fly came flying in my kitchen. And I couldn't let it touch the chocolate cake. It's too beautiful. So I picked up a rolling pin and tried to swat it like crazy. Swat it. Get out of here, fly. Go. And then the, the fly, the fly took the rolling pin from me and started beating me up in my face like crazy. And then it called his fly homeboys and, and they pulled up in the box Chevy and said, wrong neighborhood, nigga. It started beating me up like crazy, even worse. Oh, no. What, what, what happened to the cake? They took the cake, Marvin. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, Jeffy has a black eye, so I was wondering if you know how Jeffy has a black eye. It must have been those flies. They're ruthless, dude. I'm telling you, Marvin. Oh, there's someone at the door. Hold on, Chevy. I hope it's not the flies. Hello? Hey, Marvin. I'm here for your house payment. Wait, I, I, I don't have my house payment, but how'd you get that black eye? Well, let me come inside and I'll tell you all about it. Okay. So the craziest thing happened, Marvin. I was on my $300 million private jet, and you know it costs $300 million because I fly a banner off the back of it letting you know how much I paid for it. Well, on the jet, I have a map of the world, and I throw a dart at it, and wherever the dart lands, that's where the jet takes me next. So I was throwing a dart, and Chives walked right in front of it, and it hit him in the eye. I'm like, damn it, Chives, you got in my way. And then all of a sudden, a baseball crashes through the window of the airplane, and Chives gets sucked out. So I stick my head out the window and I said, Chives, get your old ass back in here or you're getting a spanking. Well, obviously he doesn't listen. So I grab my parachute and I parachute after him. And I land in some random park and I see Chives hanging out of a bush. So I walk up to him and I start giving him a spanking. I said, don't you ever run away from me again, old man. And then I pull out my phone to see where we're at. And a police officer comes up and punches me in the eye. And then he steals my phone. So now I'm surrounded by all these poor people. And and this is the most embarrassing thing ever. Well, my son has a black eye, and I was just wondering, like, how did he get the black eye? Well, it's probably the police officer that punched me in the eye and stole my phone. Hmm. Any luck, Marvin? No, I talked to Goodman, and he said it was the police officer. But the cops said he didn't hit Jeffy. I know, but Chef Peepee said it was the flies. Flies? Well, who did you talk to? I talked to the boys, and they said it could be a meteor. <sighs> Jeffy, does any of this, like, make you remember? 
No. Oh, we're never gonna find out who hit Jeffy in the eye. Hey, any of you guys wanna buy some stolen phones? Ooh, I like the pink one. Baby, you're not gonna buy a stolen phone. I got a question for you. Uh, are you gonna ask if they have a warranty? Cause no, they're stolen. And I don't know the passcodes either. You're gonna have to figure that out on your own. Well, no, listen, we, we asked so many people if they, if they hit Jeffy or what happened to Jeffy and no one knows. So maybe you hit him and you don't remember? Hey, look, man, I told you I didn't hit him. Well, c can you like look at him and see if you remember? Like maybe it jogged your memory? Hold on, let me take a look. Hmm. Mm, oh no. Oh, that's bad. What, what, what? Oh, you're not gonna yell at me, are you? Oh, no, no, well, what happened? Okay, I think I remember what happened. So I was walking to the store to buy cookies, right? And then I hear this roar sound, and I look over, and I see Godzilla destroying the city. And I'm like, well, that's not really my problem. And then I see Jeffy playing in the street with a baseball. And then I look up, and I see a plane falling out of the sky, and it's about to land right on top of Jeffy. So I run over, and I push Jeffy out of the way of the plane, and I save his life. And then Jeffy thanks me, and then all of a sudden, a little piece of meteor falls out of the sky and hits Jeffy right on the helmet. And I'm like, wow, it's a really good thing you're wearing that helmet. That could have been bad. And then Will Smith from Men in Black walks up, and he wants to wipe our memory so we don't remember Godzilla. So I just run away. But then he slaps Jeffy right in the face, giving him a black eye, and then wipes his memory. Yeah, I don't really know why I don't remember that. That was pretty nuts. You'd think I would have remembered that. I guess I thought it was a bad dream or something. So, Jeffy, do you remember any of that happening? No. He's not going to remember because Will Smith from Men in Black wiped his memory. Didn't you see the movie? He's got the little neuralizer thing, and it goes, pew, and it wipes your memory. You don't remember anything. Got it? Buy a so, guys, what do you want to do today? Dude, let's go to the movies. Okay, let's go. Oh, sorry, guys, I can't. Ken just got this new pizza delivery job, so we have to deliver a pizza. Wait, Ken is delivering pizzas? Yeah, he's got to make money to make ends meet so he can satisfy my meat. Isn't Ken Spider-Man? Why didn't he just get paid for that? Well, no one gives him a check for being Spider-Man, Jr. He's not a police officer. No one pays him to save people. He does it because he wants to, because he's a man. Ooh, can I have some of this pizza? No, this is for the customer. We have to deliver it to... Dr. Octavius? Ooh, you hear that, Ken? A doctor. You know what that means. Big tip. And he's gonna give us a lot of cash when we deliver the pizza. Come on, Ken. Let's go. <sighs> All right, Ken, our first pizza delivery. Hello, pizza man. Hey, I got your pizza here. Perfect. Ooh, thanks for the 20. Oh. oh, this is just pepperoni. I ordered pepperoni and sausage. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I mean, it's pepperoni, so it's close. Oh, I'm gonna need my money back. Uh, we don't do that at Papa John's. In that case, let me speak to Papa John himself. Uh, you can't do that either, because he got fired because he said the N-word on a business call. That's outrageous! I demand a refund! Uh, I'm sorry, it's not my problem. Damn you, pizza man! I will get my revenge! Guys, 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 look how much Dr. Octopus tipped us for the pizza. He gave us 20 smackaroons. Those are like macaroons, but made of smack. You made $20 just delivering a pizza? Yeah, well, I mean, I guess some of this is for the pizza, so it should probably go to Papa John's. Dude, didn't he say the N-word? Yeah, you're right, I should keep this money. Wait, what's that, Ken? Your spider senses are tingling. Well, go save the world, baby! <sighs> there he goes. I hate to see him leave, but I love to watch him swing away. <laughs> I'm gonna try a kickflip. Wait, wait, is that a little kid in the road? <laughs> my brain's not working! My car won't stop! Someone help! Help! Spider-Man! <gasps> Spider-Man! <laughs> stop the car! Spider-Man! Stop the car! <laughs> what a cool! Hit me, that's so crazy. Thanks, Spider Man. Oh my god, oh my god, little boy, are you okay? I'm okay, thanks to Spider Man. Spider Man, you're a hero! Thank you! Breaking news Spider Man has saved the day again. He saved a little boy on a skateboard from being hit by a car after the car's brakes failed. Spider Man is a true hero. I don't know what we'd do without him. That's my man. See, Junior, no one pays him to do that. He does that because with great power comes great responsibility. Uncle Ben told him that as he was dying of a gunshot wound. Oh, hey, baby. I saw you save that car. Uber cool. You got my spider senses tingling. <laughs> What's that, Ken? You need to go to the bank to refinance Aunt May's house because ever since Uncle Ben died, she doesn't have enough income to support herself? Okay. Sorry, guys. Me and Ken have to go to the bank real quick. Okay. See you, Cody. So, I just got done reviewing your file, and unfortunately, I'm unable to approve this loan to refinance your home. 
You just don't have the assets. Oh, I guess great responsibility doesn't necessarily come with great credit. But 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 still, he's Spider-Man. Can't you do us a favor? I, I would love to, but unfortunately you don't have the income to support this kind of loan. You just started a pizza delivery job today. Oh, well, do we still get the free toaster? Ooh, see, the free toaster is only for our customers who set up a savings account and deposit $300. Oh, I see that now. Everyone, get down! This is a bank robbery! Ah, it's Dr. Octopus! Ah! Can do something! Oh, it's you guys again! I want my $20 back! What, really? You're robbing a bank for $20? It's just $20, dude. You're a doctor. Oh, I'm robbing the bank for something much bigger. Much larger. What, like a 50? <laughs> you dare hit me? Get back up, Ken! Time for you to make a withdrawal! Look out! Oh, damn! Ken learned a block. I thought you had spidey senses. You're not gonna be very safe after this. Okay, I know you see this coming. But damn, Ken, what is with you today? What, are you losing your powers or something? Looks like the itsy bitsy spider just met the rain that washed him down the water spout. Now I'm gonna take my money and run. What, Ken, he got away! What the hell, man? You're Spider-Man! Do something! Guys, guys, guys! Something's wrong with Ken! He's a doll? No, he just got his ass kicked by Doc Ock! How'd he lose? He's Spider-Man! I don't know. It's like he's depressed and he's going through some kind of internal conflict and he lost his powers. Well, why would that happen? I have no idea. Like, I don't know why they did that in the movie. It just made the movie weird. Oh, well, if he lost his powers, you want my tarantula to bite him again? No, I just I just don't understand what's wrong with him. Well, why don't we call a doctor? Well, I don't want the doctor to find out he's Spider-Man. Doesn't the whole world know he's Spider-Man? Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, I'll call a doctor. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Uh, yes, doctor. Well, you see, I have a friend that has a problem. Well, okay, what's his problem? He's a doll! Shut the hell up, Joseph. Uh, no, well, you see, my friend has these powers that give him the abilities of, like, a spider. Oh, he's Spider-Man. No, I never said he was Spider-Man. I mean, he's kind of like Spider-Man. I mean, we might might as well call him Spider-Man because he's so similar to Spider-Man, but... Okay, screw it. It is Spider-Man, okay? Spider-Man is losing his powers because he's sad. Why? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Maybe because he's a doll. Well, if I had to guess, I'd say he lost his powers because of psychological distress, self-doubt, and his lack of motivation because of his financial issues, relationship problems, and educational struggles he's going through, you know? He probably just doubted his choice to be Spider-Man and hated himself because he couldn't balance his normal and superhero life. That's what I'd say. That's so lame. Ken, you hear that? He's saying you need to man up. Start being a Spider-Man and not a little spider-bitch. Get off the rag, Ken! Hey, hey, okay, okay. I think what you should do is take your friend to a play to help clear his head. Yeah, I could take him to a play. Come on, Ken, let's go to a play. Finally, I've done it. I've created the world's largest disco ball. The power of party in the palm of my hand. Now all I need is a hot chick. Then I can party all night long. All right, Ken, let's just sit back and watch this play while we eat my free medium french fries I get from McDonald's every week. Honey, you must get ready. We have to go to my parents' picnic. Honey, you know I can't go to your family's picnic because I have to go to space. Oh, must you go? I have to go, you ho. <gasps> now stop talking back to me. Before I Neil Armstrong you in the face. <laughs> Son, stop acting up and go to bed. It's your ADHD acting up. What the hell is this play even about? Am I interrupting something? Who are you? You're not part of the play. So, you're coming with me, sweet cheeks. <laughs> It's party time, P-A-R-T-Y, because I gotta go! Ken, your powers are back! Wait a minute, why do you want to save that girl so bad? Ah, what are you doing with me? I want to party, and with this disco ball, you can't help but dance! Must get jiggy with it! The whole world will dance! <laughs> Ugh. No one's gonna stop my partying! No one! Huh. You're trying to stop my partying! Don't give me a refund for my pizza! G -g 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 Come here, you! I bet you wish you were dancing now! Ah. I'm not done with you! Ugh. Time to die, Spider-Man! From dancing! Ken, why'd you want to save that girl? Oh no, why can't I stop dancing? <laughs> because of the disco ball I built, everyone in the world will die from dancing! That's really dumb. 
Well, the only way I'll stop it is if I get my $20 refund from my pizza! But damn, okay, man, here. <laughs> yes! That's it? That's all I had to do, really? Yeah, just get rid of this thing. I don't think I can. I'm gonna have to drown it in the river. But that's a pool. <laughs> Ken, he's dead! Thank you so much for saving me, Spider-Man! Get off him, bitch, he's mine! Well, guys, Ken finally got his powers back, and he defeated Dr. Octopus. He kicked his ass. Actually, that's not true. Dr. Octopus was winning. I mean, you can see what he did to Ken's mask. It, it was getting pretty bad. I mean, it's really a good thing he decided to grow a conscience, because he really had us on a platter there, I'm not gonna lie. But he's dead now. He decided to push the disco ball into the pool, so he drowned. I don't really know how he drowned. You'd think with all those arms he'd be able to swim. I mean, he's an octopus. That's like literally their habitat, but... I mean, I guess his arms were made of metal, so maybe they were heavy and he just sank to the bottom and drowned? I don't know. He's dead anyway. You know, I feel kind of bad, because he really wasn't all that bad. He just wanted to make people party, you know? And really, he was only mad in the first place because we didn't give him his money back because we screwed up his pizza, so that's kind of on us. I mean, it's kind of Papa John's fault if you think about it. So is Ken okay? Oh no, Ken's fine. <laughs> He's my little Peter Parker, and I've got somewhere I'd like to park my Peter. Jesus Christ, I don't know if I can take any more, dude. Well, who's Ken gonna fight now? He's defeated all the bad guys. Well, now we gotta do Spider-Ken 3, so you know, it's probably gonna be some black goo and some sand. So like this video if you wanna see Spider-Ken 3. That'll be cool. Yeah, it'd be really sick. Yeah. Gary, right, get in here! Yes, sir? You're telling me Spider-Man fought Dr. Octopus and you didn't get any pictures?! Sir, I don't know what you think my job is, but I'm a cop and a doctor, but I don't work for a newspaper. I don't care! I just want pictures of Spider-Man! Sir, I don't really understand why you want these pictures of Spider-Man. I mean, just Google it. Like, they're everywhere. I'll get you someday, Spider-Man!